Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome to my Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Something that I've wanted to do for a long time now. I am a very big fan of the Luigi's Mansion series, and I've played through the original in a single afternoon far more times than I can count throughout my childhood. And I definitely felt the need for a sequel to come around for the decade plus that it took for one to finally happen. And you know what? I'm glad that it did. Some people really, really like Dark Moon, other people really, really don't, and I definitely understand that expectations would be super high after how long it took for a sequel to finally happen, but, you know I'm gonna say that I like it, because that much is obvious from my tone. So, I'll say that I see it as something that certainly succeeds. Wow, that is a lot of alliteration. Let's try that again. If you're a fan of the original Luigi's Mansion, this is certainly not the exact same type of game, but I think the things that it tries to do that are new are a lot of fun. If you've never played Luigi's Mansion before, this is a fine starting point. It is technically a sequel, but you're not gonna miss out on anything by not playing the original. You can jump in here, and it's completely accessible being on a current gen system. That's what I wanted to say, and that was less unintentionally funny. There. <laughs> and with the intro done, I don't want to sit on this title screen any longer. It's bland, and it's not going to be earning any points for me. Out of all the stuff that I'd love to be praising, this is not one of them. So let's leave it in the dust and get this misadventure started. Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. I need your help, Sonny. It's an emergency. The ghosts have gone hostile. Ah, what are you doing on the floor? Never mind that. I'm preparing the pixelator. Hold still, young feller. Here we go! And as Luigi is getting sucked into problems far beyond his comprehension or willingness, I just want to say the first of many positives. The characters in these scenes are just so darn expressive. Like, I would compare it to something like Wind Waker. You don't really get to fully appreciate it if you're playing yourself, but if you get to watch someone play, it's really cool. So, I'll be reading the text more or less verbatim, at least here, so that you can look at the characters as they move and see all the little nuances, and you don't have to look at the bottom of the screen to see what they're saying. Greetings, Luigi. I knew our paths would cross again. You seem a bit tense, son. Relax, we're perfectly safe here in this impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off adventuring with that daredevil brother of yours. Me? Oh, I've just been continuing my research on paranormal happenings and whatnot. 
In fact, after our last adventure, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that. Let me fill you in on our ghostly predicament. See that on the screen? That there is the Dark Moon. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped at the rare chance to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some of the best research of my long and storied career. That is, until something snapped inside the ghosts and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here where the ghosts can't find me. Of course, I'm not one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> I wanted to know why the ghosts freaked out. So I settled in and did some research to figure out what had happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The dark moon had vanished from the sky. And on top of that, the whole of Evershade Valley had become enveloped in an eerie fog. Now, I can't be sure, but I think the disappearance of the dark moon is what caused all this mess. And what a mess it is. If we don't do something about it, the ghosts might leave this valley and terrorize the world beyond. Worse still, my research will go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Wait here. The good news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. But the bad news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby, meaning the thing's broken. And this dark moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a disruptive energy that suppresses the dark moon's ability to pacify ghosts. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny. <laughs> I've done it, Luigi. It seems to have regained its original power. And did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Criminy! All the fog around this bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at the map of Evershade Valley. <laughs> Luigi, do you know what this means? We should be able to reach the gloomy manor now. But more importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all our problems! If we find all the Dark Moon pieces, the fog in the valley will vanish, and the ghosts will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Why, you're the best Ghost Wrangler I know, son! Coincidentally, you're also the only Ghost Wrangler I know. So, what do you say, young feller? Will you help me capture the ghosts and restore the Dark Moon? Oh, <laughs> of course you will! It'll be just like old times! And so, like it or not, Luigi, our misadventures begin at Gloomy Manor, the site of Professor Egad's paranormal research. Also, yeah, that's his name. You think with how long he was prattling on for, he would have had at least some moment to mention his name to catch the audience up, but nope, he doesn't. Let's go to our first mission, Poltergust 5000. Not like we have a choice. What are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, uh, a few hundred ghosts, and they're not exactly harmless. But looky here, with my brains and your... uh... your... Hmm, we're in a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? <laughs> well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means you're gonna need some ghost hunting gear, son. But wouldn't you know it, I left my new Poltergust 5000 somewhere inside the gloomy manor. So now that I've cleared that blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Look familiar? This customized DS has an interactive map of the gloomy manor on it. It'll also allow me to communicate with you while you're exploring. I like how by customize he means punched a bunch more speaker holes in it in his own likeness. <laughs> and it's mighty dark in there, so you'll want this flashlight. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. I like how Luigi immediately reaches for his crotch to figure out where this thing is on his person after he just put it in his pocket a second ago. I mean, I guess it does vibrate, so he'd want it on his crotch, but still. Okay, that was kind of bad, though, but come on, you were thinking it, too. <laughs> Alrighty, now check your map. I'm marking an important location. 
That's the garage. I think that's where I left a Poltergust 5000. You ready, son? I'll zap you to the gloomy manor with my new and largely untested pixelator. Let's hope all the pixels make it this time. <laughs> Hold on to your mustache. I'm not gonna be the one to take off Luigi's overalls and check, but make sure all the pixels make it this time. Are you implying that some pixels are still in Luigi's house from the last time we used it? Um, I'm kind of glad I'm not being your first guinea pig on this, at least, if largely untested means that you tested at least some, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna drop this right here. <laughs> Literally! Eh, I don't think this is such a good idea, so I think I'm just going to go home. Okay, no, we can't do that, but we do get a nice lens flare effect as our reward for trying. But we're finally into some gameplay, just some good old-fashioned exploring a haunted house with our flashlight and nothing but the overalls on our backs. Moving as fast as we can, thanks for that. We go inside, and... The wind! They're leaving two steps in the door, and Nigata already feels the need to check on us. Huh? Glad to know you have so much faith in this. Yellow. Yellow. Luigi, mm -hmm. come in, Luigi. Are you there, young feller? Ah, there you are. I was worried that the battery died in the DS, but I turned the screen brightness down. You did not turn down the screen brightness, Egad. Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes. This is an original model DS. You are thinking of the mm -hmm. DS Lite. On an original DS, the brightness is only on or off, no in between, and it is quite clearly on if it is reflecting off of Luigi's face the way that it is. But I think we can forgive you because you tell me that I can press B to run. Yes! If we had to go around at that speed, I don't think I would have been able to stomach this. So we go up to the front door, and no good, it's locked. Any sort of locked door is gonna be marked as red on your map so you know ahead of time whether or not you can go in. But over here, if the map is to be believed, is the garage. And as much as Luigi is uh, not looking in there, no matter how we twist his neck to look into the door, we're gonna make him. Uh, door, window. Let's see what's inside. You know, that was funny and all, but we still have no way to get inside, so I guess we just gotta give up and go home. Yo. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> Luigi, it's a mouse! You just saw ghosts, as in ghosts are real! And it's a mouse! And if you want to bring continuity into it that he's seen ghosts before, you know what else he's seen? Ghosts of mice! I think that would be a lot more scary than just a regular old mouse. Ah, never mind. Irrational fears, I got him too. Let's go inside. Hello? The wind! Ow! Oh. Oh. Weather just loves trolling us tonight. Here we are. So in an era where uh, Mario characters are criticized for being less and less expressive and not having as much personality, not Luigi, man. More expressive than ever before, and that's something I really like. They nailed his personality. Also, uh, yeah, we found the very thing that we were sent here to get. Oh. <laughs> Yet another call, you know it's the first mission when... Ah, you found it. Good work, Luigi. That there is the new and improved Poltergust 5000. It's simple to use. Just press R to vacuum. Before you go hunting ghosts, why don't you test it out on some of the junk in that room? Go on, give her a whirl! I was gonna make a pun, but you stole my thunder. I can't say anything else. Give her a whirl's really the best that I got. I can't say, like, give it a suction, because that doesn't really make any sense, and I don't want to have negative connotations on our abilities, because this thing is pretty darn cool. You can attract collectibles near you by just simply looking up with the X button and then sucking. You can get this sheet off of this chest, press A to get rid of it. And then we can check underneath. 
which has a key, which I know is going to land over here. Speedrunning tactics. Oh. Can't even walk two steps since getting something without you calling us. Seriously, it's been zero steps each time. Hmm. How are you liking the Poltergust 5000 so far, Luigi? Mm -hmm. Not too shabby, hey? Just wait until you catch some ghosts with that thing. There should be a few nearby. Wow. We know. We've met. And speaking of which, there's a bit of a greenish glow that we could see out this window a little bit ago. Let's see what's out here. Oh my god, this place is really haunted. They broke the window without actually breaking the window. It's like everything they touch becomes a ghost. Okay, but in all seriousness, it's really weird. Uh, so we can do some various things. It's all about finding secrets. You get loads of money just for sucking on things. First of many really bad <laughs> innuendos. Wow. I, okay, I was avoiding saying the word sucking because pretty much any time that you use that word, there is an innuendo to follow though, but saying that you get money for it, it was kind of worse than even I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right. Let's just take our key and go on to the next room. Huh. Luigi, I've already gotten on you for irrational fears, but this one's getting kind of weird. You have ghosts that you've already seen twice now. Clear across the same, clear across the room, however far away this hall is. And you are scared with your back turned at the wall. Your legs are even still shaking from it. Meanwhile, these suits of armor come to life and are swinging their swords at you. And you don't so much as bat an eyelash at it. I mean, you can be afraid of what you want to be. You're your own person and all that, but still. <laughs> are you serious? Those guys are just like, their swords are still there, barely missing my head. And Egad calls me and they just all freeze in place. You'll need a key to open that door, son. Ghost love hiding things, especially keys. Yes, we know. We found two of them already. Go back and search those rooms thoroughly. We've already been doing this. We don't need any of your stinking guides for that. And also, the window is broken now, and there's even rain coming in. I never noticed that before. All right, let's head on back. There is but one room that we have yet to explore, and it's got this very unconvincing decoy of a door in front of it. Suck that off of there and go inside. Welcome to the most unflattering place of the house, the mud room. If I were a room in a haunted mansion, this is the last thing I would want to be called. Which, uh, those two coins are really good at multiplying. I never knew that coins were so good at reproducing. I'll have to keep that in mind if I ever need to get rich quick scheme. Lots of money that we can get in here, all kinds of good stuff though, but the real elephant in the room is the fan. Spin it around and, nope, can't land on it again. Thought I knew where it was gonna land, but ah oh well. Only got one of the two. A Lot of other things, oh! These guys, yeah, they don't do anything for us right now. Uh, wow, that was weird, I like, flipped upside down. Uh, those enemies, you ready for this? You wanna know those enemies' official names? You better prepare yourself. Spiders. I am not making that up, really. And I did not mean to check out here, but I guess we needed to look out here anyway, because, yeah, we got another window that we can look out, and there's some interesting stuff here. <laughs> As of right now, we're unable to go out into the yard. This door is locked, can't do anything about it, but we'll want to remember that for later. And peepholes and windows, a lot of them are optional. In fact, the last two that we have seen were completely optional. You could have completely missed them. But they often have hints on things that you'll be able to come back and do later on, areas that you'll be able to explore. Maybe even hints on where to get where you need to go, that kind of thing though. So check windows when you see them. Maybe you can look through them, maybe you can see some interesting stuff, or maybe you can just see some good old fashioned slapstick comedy, cause Dark Moon has got that in space. Let's go ahead and open this door. Huh. Oh 
my gosh, what a funny joke. You mean, you took that thing that we stole, and you put it up on a light fixture? Oh my god, that is just so fun. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Egad! Stop calling! Yes, okay, green circular... Oh, actually, this is kind of helpful. Yeah, it unlocks the door, and all you have to do is flash it with the... Criminy! The Poltergeist 5000 is missing its strobe bulb. You won't be able to open the door without that. Those pesky ghosts must have hit it somewhere. Gee, wonder where we've seen that recently. Find it. Post haste. We can indeed find it post haste, because we know exactly where it is. I'm gonna go up this way. Uh, this is kind of creepy, actually. This... This has always creeped me out, like, a lot. This angelfish that has tetanus or something. I don't know, like, what it is, though, but just... I don't know, just the thought of, like, swimming around and being bitten by that, it's very clearly not a piranha. It just, ugh, creeps me out. S suck that, make that twirl around, bring that down to size. Be a really nice way to replace those candles on it. Can't imagine that it'd be very pleasant lighting those every night and also having to, uh bring it down, put new candles on it. At least they have a good system in place. Yeah. Ho ho. Yeah. Ho. Ha ha. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. You knew it was coming. Whoa there, fellow. Don't go flashing yourself with that. Out of context. That strobe bulb isn't a toy. It's a powerful tool. For one thing, it can activate many of any of my inventions that feature green circular panels. And it's mighty easy to use. Just aim and press A to flash. Try it on the nearby door. We could try it on the nearby door. And yeah, we could ignore child safety warnings and use it on our own eyes again. But I don't want to do that. I want to go up to this vault. I want to get anything that could be inside, get even richer in the process. And we saw some green circular panels in some earlier places in the mansion, so how about we backtrack a little bit and see just what we can get ourselves there. Back in the mud room, we had that exact same panel on this wall at Luigi, you just disappeared. So you mean to tell me that you're that afraid of ghosts despite the fact that you are a ghost? Leak! <sighs> I promise this is not as regular as it seems. He does not call you nearly this much after the first mission. It's just that if you're an explorer, then he calls you up to tell you about dust bunnies or whatever he just said. Okay, mudroom exterior. This is where I wanted to go. We can see that that dog of, oh God, oh, no, 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 whoa, okay, that was really good. Yeah, any sort of little creature like that, you can flash with a flashlight and they will turn into money. Not exactly sure how that works, but that was a golden mouse becomes a gold bar, which gets you quite a lot of stuff. And we saw there was that gem up there, which now we can get down. And that is the first of many, many, many collectibles. And uh, the twelfth or so of many, many, many phone calls. <laughs> Doing some ge gemstone hunting on the side, eh, filler? Can't say I blame you. Those gems are one of a kind. We're the fortune, I reckon. But remember, you got a job to do. Got time to look at your gems in the vault. Carry on, youngster. What he says is not true at all. Those gems are not worth a fortune. They actually have zero monetary value whatsoever. They do not count at all toward the amount of money that you have collected while searching around the mansion. Instead, they serve a completely different purpose and are kind of like the... <laughs> what was that? Where did that come from? Okay, that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they don't really do anything for you in the way of monetary value, but they are used for something else that we'll be seeing later on, as you would expect. Also, out in the front yard, we can now suck on these pieces of grass, get some money out of them. There's cloth over here, which has a couple of gold bars behind it, all that good stuff. We also have this wind chime, which somebody left fat stacks of cash right nearby. I'm not really sure how that works, but I'm not complaining. Come on, give me all the money. Give me all the money. Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your money. All right. We can also use the straw bulb to activate these plants. Not really sure what sort of biological engineering would cause them to grow that. I mean, I guess dollar bills are green, but still. And then, boom! Ha! Wowie! That is our second gem of many, and that gem right there. Okay, I've never been able to replicate this, but I had one time where I collected that gem at the same time that I collected a dollar bill, and it caused Luigi to do that gem collecting dance with a dollar bill instead of the gem. 
And actually, yes, I do have it recorded. It happened while I was doing some quality tests to figure out exactly how I was going to record some things. Um, so, yeah, you can see that. I always thought that was really funny, and I wish I could replicate it again, though. But, eh, I just showed it to you, so what am I complaining about? Uh, this? Oh, wait, no, I was about to say. Uh, I went over there because I saw it red on the map, and I was like, wait, weren't we supposed to go over this way? Yeah, we were. Open this door and finally progress. The coat room. You know you have too much money when you can dedicate an entire room to that concept. And hey, gold bone! I guess that means we're getting another phone call, doesn't it? Or in this case, a bone call. It's like I know how this works. Gosh. Hmm, you seem to have found something special there, Luigi. I heard that your chance of finding one is better if you have a lot of treasure. I get the feeling that bone will come in handy when you need it the most. But that's just a wild guess. Yeah, pure speculation. It's technically a helpful item. If you run out of health, uh, you will instantly be revived if you have one of those on you, and you have a higher chance of finding it if you have more money on you, but I've got entire playthroughs without ever using them, so they're about as useful as one-ups are in the main Mario series. <laughs> Again, big points for expressiveness. It's so good. Let's see what's inside that coat. Uh, it opens up a hidden wall panel. I can't say I've ever been sold a jacket that had that as a feature. Let's get that down at the drain. And, uh, yeah. It's curtains for you. Oh man, he's a selective ghost. He can only go through certain walls some of the time. Well, we finally caught up to where the ghosts are. How about we get outsmarted by them once again by going through this? Might as well get this money while I'm at it because we saw it inside of the wall back there. Man, they are laying it on thick. No, don't make me miss this. No, how dare you do that? Okay, now for that, I will suddenly have interest in catching you. Yeah, send him with the strobe bulb, pull back, and then press A when that gauge is filled up, and you can do lots of damage at one time. See that there's something over there. The longer you hold it, the wider that can be. Get another one. And that is both of the ghosts that we saw. Wow, I was inside of the hearts during the cutscene. That was really lucky. Not that I needed them or anything, but still, it was rather nice. I could get those codes to get some more money though, but I don't really think I need it. Let's... No, oh, okay, come on. Wanna do something cool. Wanna do something cool. Nope. They're laughing at me! There we go, got two at once. And if you get two ghosts at the same time using that A command right there, you're able to get basically a combo. They will drop more money than they would if you just caught one of them by themselves. So there is a bit of risk versus reward, getting as many ghosts sucked up at the same time as you can without things getting too out of control, having to do that while other ghosts are attacking you, all that good stuff. Picked up the last of the coins, and it looks like we might be done here. That's the spirit, Luigi. Literally! Stealing my thunder again, Egan. That's what I'm here for. Oh, 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 just like old times, hey, fella. All right, that's enough for now. I'll bring you back to the bunker. I guess to be fair, Egan's not just stealing my job when it comes to making puns. He's also stealing my job when it comes to, oh, I don't know, commentating about every single little thing we do. There's our clear time. Got 10 minutes, 49 seconds. Captured six ghosts, never got hurt. Got loads of treasure. We have earned ourselves a triple star rank. Best that we can get. Starting off on a good note. Even got two gems for our troubles. You made it back, and with all your pixels to boot. Good work, Sunny. We might just make it out of this mess. Let's see what you sucked up with the Poltergust 5000. Many gems, or two gems. Many ghosts, though. I can at least say that, truthfully. And as we collect more money, it can get us, well, as it puts it, upgrades. Didn't get any to do that. I don't think we can get enough money to get our first upgrade in just the first mission alone. But we know the purpose that money serves now and why you would want to go and pick it up. Yeah. 
Incredible! I'll start studying these ghosts post haste! You like that word, don't you? Eh? Wondering where that pipe goes. All the stuff you collect goes to a super safe vault below. It's a good idea to visit it often to check your progress and see the results of my studies. I've got ghost descriptions, hints, even each ghost spectral mass. Knowledge is power, after all. Okay, I'll scan the gloomy manor in search of paranormal signals. I reckon the ghost that took the other dark moon piece is hiding in there. With that, our first exploration of the gloomy manor was a success. Triple star rank, got ourselves some gems, got ourselves lots of money, and captured some ghosts. Oh yeah, and we also got the Poltergust 5000. That's kind of important to our cause. Next time on Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Now that we're properly equipped, let's find those Dark Moon pieces. Paranormal readings are stronger in the north rooms of the gloomy manor, so we should start our search there. See you guys then. What? <laughs>